a first degree AV nodal block. Let's first talk about, in general, the AV node. Here's our conduction pathway again. Remember, impulses start at the SA node, go through the atria, then get to the gatekeeper, which is the AV node, which causes a little pause and then conducts it through the Purkinje system and the bundle of Hiss. We'll talk here about first, second, and third degree AV blocks. If there is a regular QRS and there's an AV nodal block, then it's either a first degree or a third degree block. If it's irregular, if the rate is irregular, then it has to be a second degree block. Let's walk through each of those. A first degree AV nodal block is shown here. And in this case, you have a consistent PR. The PR is always the same, but it's over 200 milliseconds. This is often a normal variant and asymptomatic, and we just see it when we do an EKG for other reasons. But it can be associated with an inferior myocardial infarction, or MI, or with infections like myocarditis or Lyme disease, or with electrolyte disorders like hyperkalemia, which will cause other conduction disorders as well, or again, our AV nodal blocking medications. 